when would I be justified with a weather report? To say it's 100% going to rain? Yeah. When, I mean, when it's raining. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's the only time. Might be. Uh, and you might good practice for interviews. Because you know, I, I got one tomorrow for a oh, mining company. Wait, mining company? Mining engineering. Is it West Rock? Or you no. Um, Would you mind if we move that phone? It's kind of oh, yeah, sir. Um, Did I call that a phone? I yeah, thought. no, you understand. I understand. See, we're both screwing up. We're texting right? too much. I know, Talk right? more face to face. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, exactly. No, but uh, it's Rogers Group. It's a. I think they're more like on the material side of the mining. Okay. Um, of like aggregate mining, that kind of stuff. Would you mind if I recorded the talk that we do? Sure. I don't so know. I'm Ty, by the way. Drew. Nice Drew. To meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Andrew. Man. Drew. Either way. Drew. Nice to meet you. So normally, what I do is I set up and I'll set up in talks. Or yeah, it's really rough. I'll set up in parks or campuses okay. and just have conversations with people about whatever they strongly believe about, anything they think is true. Okay. Just have like a really fun conversation that's face to face and show like there's advantages to having like a face to face communication. Yeah, you get a lot more. I agree. You do. Also, I feel like there's empathy that you don't get when you talk like over of course not. computers yeah. and people. There's a lot of nonverbal communication. Exactly. And I work they, in ministries a lot. So okay, okay. I understand. I led middle school ministry back then. Oh man, that sounds interesting. So really, then, um, is there? So really, I take the stance of like, I don't know. I'm willing to learn. What do you got? Let's have a good conversation yeah. about something you strongly believe is true. Something you know you can't believe, be wrong about. Mm -hmm. Normally, since that guy's over there, it'd be cool if it was like something supernatural based, like karma or talk god belief. Can we talk about your I'm faith? Christian. All right, Drew Christian. And normally, it's good if we like center it around like. Something you know is true. Like I know you're a Christian. Um, you're a Christian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. Like, I lead a I'm church pretty confident about home. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like, what about Christianity? You think is very true? Um, we talk about God's a loving God, but also a. Hmm, no, I'm trying to think of the different parts. Of yeah, do you got anything like one more objective? Deeper. Like maybe about, God like, exists. That's pretty big. I mean, we could do God exists. Sure. Yeah, that's a big I've, one, though. I've had, I'm from Baltimore, so I've had that argument ba many times. See, I'm not, here, I'm not here to argue with anyone. No, no, not argue. I just mean, like, I have a lot of points on that that I've thought about a lot because okay. I've had the discussions about it with people. Okay, okay. And let you know, I'm not about argument. I'm, no, not, I'm not trying chats. to argue with you. Yeah, yeah I, I said you were. No, I'm just playing with you. See what I'm doing? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so God exists. Uh, which God are we talking about? Uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Father, Christ? Son, Holy Spirit. And so three and one. It's three and one. It's not the Trinity. Is it? Trinity. Yeah. Is this but like that a, becomes a different argument? Yeah, that becomes a different conversation. But depending on what branch of Christianity, could we say like the supernatural side of the Trinity exists? Because I wouldn't argue yeah. that a guy named Jesus is just sitting walking yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Jesus I'm with that? was God. We can say that. Or a God exists and it was Jesus. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Apples and oranges at this point. I'm wondering, um, is this like the um, biblical version, or is it the Catholic version, Protestant? Biblical, um, I'm which biblical, which non, Bible? So I use either ESV or NASB, if you know what that I is. know NSV. Well, NASB. I don't know NASB. So it's directly, it's directly from the Greek and the Hebrew. Um, New American. Standard Bible. Um, and it has, so in the back of my Bible, I have, it's actually in my backpack. What's that first one that you said? ESV. Mm. Just ESV. the general, that's a very common one. Okay. Um, but NA, or NIV, honestly, all three I of like those. I like the NIV too. I use all three of those. Um, okay. So NASB is nice because it has, uh, it's directly, so rather than being a translation of a translation, mm. it's a translation from the original documents, mm. from the original Greek, from the original Hebrew. Mm. Um, so like in the back of my Bible, for every word of the Bible, I have a definition in the Greek, like of the Greek or Hebrew word, because a lot of time, or Aramaic, it's three languages. Pretty cool. Um, Would you say you're Catholic, Baptist, no, Methodist, um, Protestant? Non-denominational. Non-denominational, the best denominational. Yeah. Because, you got a lot of Bibles for it, too. Yeah, I get to, I get to compare and com I get to look through all the different things that people say. and It's good to have multiple references yeah. for anything. Yeah. Okay. I, that's why I have I have an ESV Bible and an NASB Bible. Nice. So I can compare. Would you have, like, a Mormon Bible as well? No, a Witness Bible? So it's strictly just different perspectives, so but more, within well, the same mindset. Like, yeah, because Mormonism has... I mean, this comes back to, like... A lot of Christianity's personal beliefs, right? Mm. So, with my faith, I don't really believe in a lot of like I don't believe in the 
the second coming that Mormons believe in. I get of, it. Like, that already happened. Got it. I don't believe. Okay. Um, and they have a lot of other things like they don't believe. Um, what about Catholic tenets, like Catholic saints? Saints. I haven't done enough research. I need to do more research. That's Jehovah one of the topics tenets? I thought about. Hmm? Jehovah Witness tenets. Nah. No? Okay. I so talked with Jehovah, which was actually fun. I had a guy in my class last year in high school that I got to talk to about him. He was a Jehovah's Witness. Okay. So I'm, I always ask these questions with, that way I don't come into the conversations with assumptions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because no, that's fine. not going to help anyone. But non-denominational, multiple different kinds of Bibles, believes that God exists. Yeah. How confident are you that God exists, say, from like from 100. zero to 100? 100. 100%. I'm just going to define 100% again so I don't assume. Yeah. But 100% to me or at least in this conversation, mm-hmm. is like a guy who's so confident they know they can't be wrong. Yep. Has zero doubt. Yep. Close-minded on the position. I'm... Yeah, like, I, I mean... Regardless of what happens in the I mean, future whatever or any happens, happens in the I past, would, they will not change their mind. I'm not going to change my mind. Like, li- literally, if like God comes down and is like, hey, by the way, my name's Barry. I don't know who this God person is. Barry, Barry, yeah. Barry, right? Barry, it's like, yeah. no. I'm holding out for the God that's named God. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, if... <laughs> I mean, no, I would still, I would, I mean. You would still hold true to the belief that you have. His name is not God, it's just what we call him. He doesn't really have But he's name. saying his name yeah. is Barry. That's yeah, and he's like, not what I say. Yeah, like he's, he's got, not like, the he looks like God. Thor, but with a bill, uh, bill, 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 a Barry. But he looks super cool, and I'm like, yeah. holy crap, that's the dude. Yeah. Like, so, so no? if that happened, I would start thinking along the lines of, oh, this could be maybe the, at the in Revelations, it talks about the, what's it called? The, not the Antichrist, the. Of uh, false imposter. The false imposter. Prophet. It okay. talks about the false prophet. So you there. still hold true no matter whatever ends you mm-hmm. Okay, so 100% it, for sure. Yeah, because it specifically talks about that in Revelation, because at the end, the false prophet's going to come and everybody's going to try and follow him. Can um, I ask you a quick question? Yeah. What got you to your 100% level of confidence? Um, or what was the best thing? Life experiences. I have lots and lots and lots of them. Um, so. What's the best one? That's really hard to pick because it's a com it's a compilation of things that really leads to the like points to him. If What's the sense. one that if it didn't happen, your confidence might drop a little? Knowing the Holy Spirit's there, like feel it, like that other. I don't the know how to explain it. To, the yeah, Holy Spirit? I don't know how to explain it to non-believers, but like like that's the one thing that's really hard in conversation is explaining like the feeling of the Holy Spirit. Um, so like having the Holy Spirit there. Um, Would and you feeling say that presence? It's a very, like, strong, it's a very feeling. strong presence of like, and at different occasions, like when I came to Christ initially, and like finally decided, oh, this is my own faith, not my parents. Can I throw something out at you? Yeah. If you didn't have that feeling, mm-hmm. would your confidence drop at all? Not through a zero percent or fifty, but like from a hundred to a ninety-nine or a hundred to a ninety-nine point nine. If yes. that had never happened. Yeah. If your if personal experience with the Holy Spirit and your life experiences, the ones that you, the, I guess the one that we're picking from is the Holy Spirit. So if that if, didn't happen, would that Specifically, the Holy Spirit didn't happen, but all the other things I've seen have ha- had happened, I would still believe. Because, like, you would still believe at 100%? Yeah, because of. So it like, doesn't seem like Well, that's, there's also, so it's not just Holy Spirit that's. Yeah. It's it, also like to the power, like specifically the summer let's take that or back I did a mission trip to India can I throw out something like that can I throw something yeah it sounded like that you were saying that the personal experience you had with the Holy Spirit whether it happened or whether it didn't happen would still keep you at that 100% level of confidence right I mean that it would probably drop me to 99 let's say it would there might be there might be a point zero 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 difference that kind of thing I'm not trying to take you I'm not trying to tell you that you're wrong I'm really just trying to see what got you to that 100% so that that probably got me there because that's what initially that was the push okay. that like pushed me over the edge of like oh wow this is very Could real. Could you be more so, confident than you are right now that your God exists? I mean I'm always going to be learning more and more about him. That's the amazing thing. <laughs> but about you already him. told me that even if you had additional evidence that you still wouldn't change your mind. So I'm wondering. I'm how saying does... like so I could with God right? He's mm-hmm. infinite mm-hmm. right? So because is he? I don't know. Okay, in my opinion, yes. from what I've learned from the Bible, he's infinite. What does that mean? Um, so, there he is infinitely powerful. He is infinitely complicated. Um, he. What does infinitely anything mean? It means that it never ends. It never ceases to be more of whatever that is. Okay. So I can't infinite. comprehend infinity. Can you? Um, no, that's the point. How do you know if something's infinite or not infinite if you can't comprehend it? Faith. Okay. Is faith the faith reason? Faith is the origin or is the base of my religion is faith. is faith getting to your 100% yes you if can't without have. faith would you be lower 
in your confidence? Yeah, it wouldn't exist. Because okay. Because without faith, you, there's no... So God doesn't want us to just believe because of facts. Mm. We're meant to believe because we have faith. Mm. And that's the basis of Christianity is faith. Not okay. some other, oh, look, there's all these facts lined up. Those are there, and that's sure. really cool to look at. Mm. And I love understanding God through those. But that's not the basis of Christianity. If you don't have faith, there's no... What do you mean well, when you say faith? What does faith mean um, to so you? So faith to me means belief, first of all, that God exists. And belief that... God exists in the form of Jesus and in that's where it gets confusing yeah um, I guess I meant like if we were to define faith the word faith yeah like, not what, like when you faith, say faith the word faith or what do you mean when you say faith I like I so trust you're using okay. faith to get faith, to your conclusion faith that God, meaning trust trust, um, trust in God um, sure. and trust in what the Bible says because that's his word so that's what he is saying if that makes sense I'm going to throw a question out at you is it other, it's possible for other people who are not Christians to use faith? Yeah. Faith isn't just a Christian concept. So it's not just faith in the Bible. It could be faith in any book. Yeah. Or anything. Okay. Not just a book. Could but you? in, for me, that faith is... And, like, you can put faith in anything. It just depends on the amount of faith. Like I have 100% faith mm. in the Bible. I get you. I have high amount of it's faith making a in lot my more parents sense because I trust them. I get it. It's I get trust. a lot more sense. It's, about, it's more about trust, mm. if that makes sense. Could you have trust in something that's not true? Yes. Could you have faith in something that's not true? Yeah. Do people have faith in something that's not true right now? Um, yeah, I think that a lot of people have faith in a lot of different things. But more, um, more specifically? You. How, for like, how are you? If faith can be used in things that are true and not true, how is faith getting you to 100% confidence that you're true? Um, so faith is an addition of multiple factors. Um, so faith is a big factor. The feeling of the Holy Spirit is a big factor. Those two things together. Can I have a personal feeling that ends up not to be true? Yeah. If I can have personal feelings that could be true or not true, faith would be true or not true, how does adding those two things together come to 100% certainty that I'm adding something that's true? Say it again. Sorry. If I can have feelings that might lead me to something that's not true, mm-hmm. and faith, which is as a system that might lead me to something that's not true, how does combining, combining faith and personal feelings get me to something that's 100% true? How so, is my confidence I guess justified? if you want if you want to... Yeah. I mean, it's hard... If you want to put it in like a simpler term, I guess this isn't a hundred percent analogy. Like that's perfect, but Talk. think of it as fifty percent, fifty percent, fifty percent plus fifty percent equals a hundred percent. Can I throw something at you? Yeah. If there was a weather report yeah. that said there's a fifty percent chance it's going to rain today, it's not good. It and may then, rain, it might not rain. I exactly. have no idea. But I got another weather report from it another say channel that said fifty percent. And so all I did was just combine those two fifty percent, and now I know for hundred percent sure it will rain. It might rain. Mm-hmm. But was that a good system that I used to get no. to that conclusion? Two, okay. So if you want to look at it from that analogy perspective, think of it as the multiple factors, what I was talking about earlier, of there's multiple factors that lead to my faith and lead to my belief in God. So if you heard from a hundred different weather reports that yeah. it's a high chance of rain, mm-hmm. let's say, um, then you would believe that there is maybe it's not gonna 100% rain, but it's a lot more reasonable than it could rain. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you heard from all of those many, many sources, when would I be justified with a weather report to say it's 100% gonna rain? Yeah. When I mean, when it's raining. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only time. Might be. So, with that information. Do you have any evidence? You said you didn't need evidence, but you have faith, which doesn't seem to be as objective or as direct as that one-to-one evidence of seeing it rain. Mm-hmm. And you have these personal experiences, which seem to be un- to the point where they could be wrong or right, mm-hmm. to an extent unreliable. Yeah. Do you have anything that's 100% verified, 100% correlated to a 100% confidence? Do you have anything that justifies a 100% level of confidence in this belief? In the belief in God, you mean? That God exists. That God yeah. exists. Yeah. To 100%. The um, Bible, in my opinion. The Holy Book? Yeah, the, the Bible. Um, it is 100% true. So the fact that it says God exists. In How it, did you determine that it was 100% true? Faith leads back to the faith. Which we know is not necessarily reliable. Yeah. 
So then what by, hum- by in Christian terms, I guess, Christianese, you could say, yeah. in by worldly perspective, it's not. Right. So I can never, and that's part of the thing with Christianity is... I hope he's not yelling at somebody right now. No, he's, pretty, he's just preaching. Um, but like, so from the Christian perspective, God gives us a choice, right? This comes back to the basic concept of Christianity, the basic concept of Adam and Eve, all of them, um, them choosing sin over choosing God, right? Um, for people, I'm assuming you have background knowledge on that basic story. Um, so God gives us a choice. We don't. He didn't set it up so that we have to follow Him. I right? don't, and I'm not discrediting that. No, you're fine. That tell whatsoever. I'm wondering, how do you know that it's true? How do I know that's true? And I, to the hundred percent level of certainty that you're at, do you have a reliable method to know that that is true? That is one hundred percent reliable. By a worldly perspective, no. Can I throw something out of you? I don't know how to like. Can I throw yeah. something out? Yeah. If I got a coin, yeah. it's not a trick coin. I flip it, catch it. It's on the back of my head. Let's say it's a quarter. Yeah. It'd be heads or tails. Okay. I don't know if it's heads or tails right now. Do you know if it's heads or tails? No. Okay. So we can go to science. It's like Schrodinger's cat kind of thing. We can talk about Schrodinger after this <laughs> It's actually, he's actually a really mean dude, but yeah. we'll talk about yeah, it later. <laughs> <sighs> History, right? Anyway, your heroes fall left and right. But I can go to science and I'll be like, hey, could you tell me if this coin's heads or tails, flip a thousand coins and tell me. They'll flip it, tell me, come back with 50-50. Yeah. Not conclusive. And I could look at this with faith and say, I have faith that it's heads. But it, but what it could it be a, tails. It could be tails. I could have a personal experience that was very strong with coins that were heads up, mm-hmm. but it wouldn't necessarily affect the odds of this coin. And I could look at it with a Christian perspective, mm-hmm. but it may not necessarily reflect reality if, if we're working in reality. Yeah. In a situation like this, it seems that I don't know is actually not just an option, but maybe the best answer. What do you think about that? So... That comes back to the physical versus non-physical side of things. Yeah. So, um, based on my beliefs and based on Christianity, there's not just the physical world that we see every day, feel, touch, hear, smell, yeah. our senses, right? Right. The five senses. We have a lot more than that, but yeah, I understand yeah, what you're saying. you know what I mean. Yeah, I understand. But then there's the going into side. a lot more than that. Yeah. Sometimes, I don't know... For different people have experienced this. I have experienced this. Many I'm not others. doubting that that yeah. world exists. I'm wondering, do we have any reliable way to pull information from that world? No. Currently? If we don't, other than could like, we? No. If we don't, what's wrong with saying you don't know? Um, or because I don't it's know. if I say I don't know, when I in my heart know that God exists, right? And I say, oh, I don't know a hundred percent. That would be not having faith Mm. Um, and having faith is what's the most important thing in Christianity is having faith in God that he what does it say about Christianity if you're saying actually maybe not I maybe not have a good reason to come to this conclusion but I can't let my heart dip down in confidence like for Um, example you would agree that people can believe in something 100% with their heart but still be wrong right yeah if because that's the there case. are people that, right. in my opinion at least from my perspective they are believing something that is they might believe like you're non-denominational why are you not letting yourself think to the four super capabilities think of a you mean like thinking Catholic or thinking I guess like, like some other you, you're not part of a religion that says hey follow these it's ways special. of thinking exactly so, as we described because if you have some if you have a conflict between so the reason I have a conflict with other branches a lot of the time is because I look at the Bible and I read the things that God specifically that wasn't what says. That was I was asking. I'm just going to get right okay. straight to the okay. point. Okay, okay, that's good. Um, there's something that might be true or may not be true. Mm-hmm. You can recognize that the methods that you have are not reliably getting to the answer. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying it's true or not true. I'm just saying, in a situation like that, it seems like I don't know might be a functionally, intellectually honest answer. From an intellectual standpoint, I don't know would be the correct answer. And what more reliable methods do you have to actually reach a conclusion? Than the intellectual yeah. method? Um, again, it just comes back to faith. Is faith reliable? Is faith a reliable way to come to a true I think conclusion? It is. From an intellectual perspective, it is not. Can From people use faith and come to a wrong conclusion? Yeah. Okay. We've been over this. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? I think that... Yes, you can come to a wrong conclusion through faith. I don't think I have, but 
from how do you know that from an in, exactly from an intellectual perspective me saying that makes me seem foolish no or not foolish but makes me seem or makes me not 100% correct from the intellectual perspective correct if I say I'm relying 100 if I rely 100% on faith right if I'm relying if you on had faith, a better system than intellectual thought yeah I would want to know about it my better system would be faith. But it seems like with faith, we can easily demonstrate that people can it's have not, faith in true things. Yeah. Well. So, what's a better system? Following the Bible. <laughs> um, so, if you follow those biblical truths, so if you study the Bible, um, and this is, again, where then you get into people have different interpretations of different parts of the yeah. Bible. Um, so then you have to get into discussing people start or you know, people start discussing which perspective is correct yeah I bet you this guy probably has he probably has different beliefs well. than I have on yeah. some how do I how does someone who's at a position others. who's like I don't know know which one of you is telling the truth or not or even if you generally mean that you are saying something that's true what's a good way to test that if you're both using faith if we're both using faith yeah um, send that person to the origin of where we're both getting our information ooh we're, is so, that in deep space or like no. in the so the origin animal? of where we're first where we're both getting our information is the original document so the original Torah um, which is the Hebrew version of it's the Hebrew holy book mm -hmm. um, so from the original those documents and then the letters written by the apostles and the Bible basically mm. um, but the original Greek and Hebrew texts of the Bible mm. not the translations and I think that's the best not for, like the not my versions not anyone else's versions all of the translations can I throw something I out? think they're still going to breathe but if, I think that they in the have, event they that you, have human in the event that you don't have the actual original translations mm -hmm. And that you're using a system of faith, which, as you said, that guy could believe is something completely different, and earnestly yeah. believe that it's true, and know like, like 100 percent that it's true. And the Southboro Baptist Church. Or that, sure. That's extremely different than most other. I'm not trying to get you down from 100 percent, but you, do you no, think you're, you're justified at being 100 percent right now? Justified by God, yeah. But by you, by I ask you. By my, um, I think I'm justified 100% yes okay but that's again through, through my faith and through my belief in God which we agree are not reliable yet no not by worldly perspective okay. yet again come back to that fact of by an intellectual intellectual meaning worldly interchangeable usually in those terms would anything get and I'll ask this one last question is there anything that exists that would actually make it be more pre preferable than the methods that you're using to reach the same conclusion I mean if God showed up like so something we talk about in church this is just something I just thought about in church, we talk about, would your faith change? Would you believe in God any more if he showed up right now in this room and you saw him, right? Yeah. So, like, if he just showed up in the middle of the church service and I was like, wow, that's God. Yeah. Would my faith change any more? Um, and I don't think it would, no. No. Um, my understanding of him might change, but my faith in his, like, existence, mm. no, would not change. Okay. Do you think faith is the best way to come to a conclusion on something like that? Um... I think on a spiritual, for spiritually, yeah. I think faith is the only real way. Faith, and then you can back it up with some information, oh, but it's not oh. going to be 100%. Mm. In, like, so, one of the big arguments that happens a lot is evolution versus creationism, correct? Mm -hmm. There so, are people who believe in evolution that also believe that it was and, created yeah, by God. Yeah, no, and I believe in some of evolution. I don't believe in human evolution mm -hmm. from apes, but mm -hmm. I do, I mean, obviously... Um, like natural selection, and that's real. There's like I agree. I just think that it's got working. Okay. And like that's how he decided to create things. Um, and that's with rather than science being the enemy of faith, of Christianity or the enemy of religion, which is how a lot of people end up looking at it. Mm. I look at it more of science is the. It's just cool to look at and cool for me to un understand because that's helping me understand more of God by Can understanding how it works. Because how he works. Do you think four years from now, if you continued on the path that you're on right now, you would your confidence would be stronger or your certainty would be more improved? Yeah. So I guess you could say, in that perspective, you could say that I'm not at 100%. But it's or 
from that, it would be more like I'm 100% right now. Mm. I'm going to be 110% then. What do you think? Which is not. What do you think your future self? Possible. This is kind I of like is. extending it out. Yeah. Because I like certainty. Yeah. What do you think your future self would be able to come back and tell you what you might got wrong right now? Like, say um, there's a time machine in the future we've developed two years from now. A decade later, your, your future self comes to you and be like, "That's the fun part." Hey, is I don't know. Okay. Because I'm going to. I still have to learn those things mm. to be able to understand them. So I think. Uh, Where do you think you'd be? Future in? me. Yeah. He, your future comes back and says, "Actually." These this two pages are glued together. Open yeah. this up and read this part. Yeah. Now we're good. So, All right, going back to the future. I think he will have a lot. <laughs> there's, I mean, he'll have a lot more life experience. Yeah. So he'll be able to say maybe he's married or maybe he has other things that have happened that expose more of who he Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then that leads him to understand, oh, you need to do this differently. Would I don't that know mean exactly that, what this would be. Um, would that mean that you're at least open to the idea that... I still you don't have a complete. No, I'm not, compl- and I never will be until ever. So you'd be a little bit more open-minded. Um, the whole point of this I'm is I'm open to listen. So I'm not like, closed-minded to not listen to anybody else's ideas. I am closed-minded to the idea of changing the basic belief that Jesus Christ came and saved me. Can I throw up? Yeah. One last question. Yeah. Oh well, man, there's a lot of people here. Yeah, I also have an exam in the Do you care if your beliefs are true? Yes. If they weren't what you currently hold, would you want to know? What do you mean by weren't what you currently if hold? If what like you believe right now, or like if what you knew right now wasn't true, and any of it, I don't know to what extent. Would I still like, hold it if it was not true? Would you at least want to know that? Hey, this and I don't have the answer. Yeah. I'm not following this no, up with like a cell. I don't have any books in my back. You don't have to defend yourself. I understand. I'm wondering like, if what you believe wasn't true, would you at least want to know that? Yeah. How would you know it if you're 100 percent confident? That's a good answer. Andrew. Well, <laughs> you were trying to get me to say that the whole time. Hey, I think that's a good way to leave it. Yeah. <laughs> if you see me around, I'd love to keep talking to you. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Uh, feel free, you. if you want, you can take a car. I do conversation like this all the time. All right. I'll grab Whoa. Thank you.